Performance-based navigation, PBN, is a term often used in association with area navigation and GNSS, although it is not a new type of navigation. It is a concept that analogically with PBC and PBS, i.e. with performance-based communication and surveillance, forms the framework for performance-based operations. Its advantage is that the specified system performance requirements are not dependent on the technology. Previously, for an aircraft to be able to fly by instruments, it was necessary to have some equipment compatible with the ground infrastructure around the world, such as Instrument Landing System, ILS. The development of GNSS satellite navigation has provided various opportunities to achieve navigation performance that matches ILS Category 1. In accord with the PBN concept, it does not matter whether this performance is achieved or will be achieved by various combinations of GPS, EGNOS, GLONASS, VAS, Galileo or any other systems, including those not yet known. PBN divides area navigation equipment into two specification groups, RNAV and RNP. The later group is required for more critical flight phases, such as approaches or flights out of radar-covered areas. This is why it must include an onboard monitoring and alerting system to indicate a problem. The original area navigation concept continues to apply when the required navigational performance is set for a certain part of the flight or type of approach. In practice, this means that older RNAV systems, although accurate but lacking monitoring and alerting, need not be replaced prematurely by more modern equipment meeting the RNP specifications. Only their usage is restricted. For example, RNAV-1 is sufficient for a flight in TMA, but for an LPV approach, a higher navigation performance is necessary – RNP approach. This should also be paid attention to during pre-flight preparation so that a flight is not planned for an airport without matching navigational performance. The basic navigational equipment for RNAV GNSS approach is the GNSS receiver that contains all the required information. In essence, there is no need for more equipment at the airport. If only a certified GPS is available in the aircraft, the approach will be similar to that when using VOR or NDB. Adding information from a barometric altimeter into a corresponding device will allow an approach with APV Barrow, vertical guidance incorporating EGNOS corrections will enable APV SBAS approach. On RNAV GNSS approach charts, three different minima whose vertical trajectories differ can be published. The pilot can then choose depending on the aircraft's equipment and his, her training.